Azerbaijan wants war are just some of the slogans that the multiples of Armenians behind me are chanting. We are protesting the fact that the British government is completely silenced about this issue. The purpose of the protest is uh, basically uh, the aggression of Azerbaijan and combined with Turkey towards Artsakh, Nagorno-Karabakh and Armenia in effect. And we see this as a complete one-sided attack on, our, on us as Armenians because Armenians never showed any aggression. And, uh, general media impression and what the Azerbaijanis and Turks are saying is that Armenians has, uh, have attacked Azerbaijan and Turks, which is not true. And Armenians see this as basically Turkey, through proxy of Azerbaijan, uh, coming to finish off the Armenian genocide which they started 1915. So if we were to summarize uh, three key points that uh, maybe a broader audience who should take as a message uh, from this protest, what those yeah. two or three would be? I would say broader audience, the world, Armenians here are probably being used for a larger war and the last Christian country in the region is being destroyed. And be careful because you could have another ISIS situation because they are having ISIS mercenaries. People have the right for self-determination and we need we want peace. We need to sanction Turkey. Turkey should stop being involved in this aggression. We should stop Azerbaijani aggression towards Armenians. This is all about ethnic cleansing. It's not about it's not about anything else. It's just the ethnic cleansing of Turkish people against Armenians. Stop the second genocide. against the aggression of Azeris and Turks against the Armenians. Uh, and I just find it unbelievable that the international community does nothing about this aggression. Uh, we don't have a, a Hitler in making, but Erdogan is another Hitler who, is, who has taken on the pan-Turkic ideas of his ancestors and he's just invading the whole region, trying to squeeze out all uh, non-Muslims and anybody who's against him. And uh, nobody in Europe says anything or, you know, the press doesn't report what's happening on the ground. There are some reports about he says, she says, uh, they say. Uh, they don't report, unfortunately, what's really happening on the ground. People are dying, civilians are being shelled. Uh, churches and places of worship and culture are being destroyed. And uh, we are here to protest against this. We're here to make it known 
and we're here to ask the government of the UK to see what's happening and to condemn Azerbaijan and Turkey for what they're doing and to intervene and stop the violence, the senseless, meaningless violence and the endless lies of the Azerbaijani government. That's what we're here for. Abramian, Britana High Hamankai for Tipomits. I saw in Spesteria Gek, Mer Hamanki, Metz Basmuchuna, Yekereng, Omer Das, then in City Archer, Mer Boki Hoska Hide Nelu, Anglio Garavarchan, Il Luruchan, Yev Luruchan Hamar, Artsakh, Dimats, Baderazmi, Vora Sphera, Azerbaijani, Mijotsov, Turkey, Kajale Rucham. I saw Meng Portsumang. Merzaina has a sank, Anglio Garavarchan, Bor Chillery as Anartarchan Dimats, Ye Pashbani, Irochuna. Garevere, Bor Angliai, Garavarchuna, Irazeshun of Velov, Herubai, Turkio, as Pader Azmit, Ye Iraganchuna has a sank, Bolorashari. Yeah, we're here to today to uh, basically make the world aware of the Azeri aggression. We're here today to make sure that everybody knows that Armenia is fighting for their lives. Yes, yeah, fighting against um, jihadists, is fighting against people who are not supposed to be there. And we're here to declare peace. We want peace for our people, we want peace for the world, and we want this to end. Shame on Turkey! Shame on Turkey! Turkey is a jihadist state! Turkey is a jihadist state! So I, I think it's important that um, the UK starts to speak up and, and recognize that there's an issue. Um, the UK government has stood by for too long over the last uh, couple of days while the Azeri forces have destroyed culture, religion um, and actively attacked, whereas Armenia has only uh, defended themselves and uh, tried to ensure the right of the Aksar people and the people from the Nagorno-Karabakh to self-determination. I think it's time that the UK government stands up and actually looks at the situation. A developed country standing by why, while thousands of people are, are put, put aside and, 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 and people are dying, it's, it's not right. Azeri! 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 Azeri!